Welcome to our latest video on reactions of alcohols, esterification. This video is suitable for A-level students. By the end of this video lesson, you should understand that esters are formed from alcohols in esterification reactions with carboxylic acids and acid chlorides. You should also be able to name and draw the structural formula for simple esters and describe how they can be made from alcohols. And finally, you should be able to write word and chemical equations to illustrate esterification reactions. Now, esters are sweet smelling organic liquids that have many uses in the perfumery and food industries. And esters have the general formula R C double bond O O R, where R is an alkyl group. And notice that there are two alkyl groups in an ester and these can be the same or different. Now when naming an ester, the first thing you do is you look at the alkyl group that's attached to the oxygen in the ester. So if we look at our first example, we have C2H5 attached to an oxygen. So that is an ethyl group. Now that means that our ester's name is gonna start with ethyl. And for the second part of this name, we look at the rest of the molecule that I've not circled here, and we choose the carboxylic acid that it best resembles, and it best resembles ethanoic acid, it's just missing a hydrogen, and therefore we name this ester ethyl ethanoate. Now if we look at our second ester that's drawn here, we have a CH3 attached to the oxygen in the ester. Now a CH3 group is a methyl group. So the first part of the name of this ester is going to start with the word methyl. Now to get the second part of the name of the ester, I look at the remaining part of the molecule and I decide which carboxylic acid this remaining part, the part that's not circled, resembles and it resembles ethanoic acid again. So therefore, this ester is called methyl ethanoate. So now we're gonna test your understanding of this with some practice questions. Here are four esters we'd like you to have a go at naming. Pause the video, have a go at naming them, and then we'll go for the answers. So now let's have a go at naming these esters. So the first ester, has a CH3 attached to the oxygen. So therefore, the first part of this name is gonna be methyl. And if I look at the rest of this molecule, it resembles propanoic acid. So the ester's name is methyl propanoate. And if I look at 1B, this ester once again has a CH3 next to the oxygen. So therefore, its first part of the name is gonna be methyl. And the rest of the ester resembles butanoic acid. So the ester is methyl butanoate. And if I look at question 1C, there is a C2H5 group attached to the oxygen. And this is an ethyl group. And the rest of the molecule resembles butanoic acid. So the ester is called ethyl butanoate. And the last molecule has a C3H7 group attached to the oxygen. So that is a propyl group. And the rest of the molecule resembles ethanoic acid. So the ester is called propyl ethanoate. So here are another four esters we'd like you to have a go at naming. So pause the video, have a go at naming them, and then we'll go for the answers. So now let's have a go at naming the next four esters. So ester E has a C3H7 group attached to the oxygen. That is a propyl group. So the first part of the name is propyl. And the remaining part of the molecule resembles pentanoic acid. And therefore the ester is called propyl pentanoate. Now if I look at ester F, we have C2H5 next to the oxygen that is an ethyl group. 
and the rest of the ester resembles pentanoic acid, so the ester is called ethyl pentanoate. And if I look at ester G, I have a CH3 group attached to the oxygen, that is a methyl group, and the rest of the molecule resembles pentanoic acid, so the ester is called methyl pentanoate. And if I look at ester H, I have a C2H5 group attached to the oxygen, that is an ethyl group. The rest of the molecule resembles heptanoic acid, so the ester is called ethyl heptanoate. Now esters are made from alcohols, and there are two different methods for preparing esters that you have to learn for the exam. The first is from a carboxylic acid, and the second is from an acid chloride or an acyl chloride. Now, when you make an ester, the reaction is called an esterification reaction. And we're going to first look at how you make an ester from a carboxylic acid. So to make an ester from a carboxylic acid, you heat your primary or secondary alcohol with a carboxylic acid in the presence of a catalyst, which is concentrated sulfuric acid. Now an example of this is shown on this slide because I have ethanoic acid, a carboxylic acid, reacting with ethanol, an alcohol, to form ethyl ethanoate, an ester, and water, and the reaction is reversible. Now if we look closely at this equation, you can see that a hydrogen from the alcohol has joined with the OH from a carboxylic acid to form water, and the oxygen in the ester, the oxygen that's attached to the C double bond O, has come from the alcohol. Now the ester is called ethyl ethanoate because next to the oxygen in the ester, the oxygen bonded to the C double bond O, is a C2H5 group, an ethyl group. So that's why the ester's name starts with the ethyl. And the rest of the ester resembles ethanoic acid, so that's why the ester is called ethyl ethanoate. Now, the concentrated sulfuric acid here has two roles. It acts as a catalyst, and it acts as a dehydrating agent. And a dehydrating agent is essential to get a good yield of the ester. Now, if you remove water from this system, the equilibrium shifts to the side that produces water, which is the right-hand side, and therefore this gives you a higher yield of ester. So the concentrated sulfuric acid has two roles. It acts as a catalyst, and its second role is to act as a dehydrating agent, which causes the equilibrium to shift to the right-hand side, the side that produces water, which gives you a higher yield of ester. Now the second way to make an ester is to react an alcohol with an acyl chloride, which is commonly called an acid chloride. And the general formula of an acid chloride is shown on this slide. It's R C double bond O Cl. Now an example of an acid chloride is shown in this equation. We have CH3 C double bond O Cl. Now there's two carbons in this acid chloride so the name of this acid chloride is called ethanol chloride. And when ethanol chloride reacts with ethanol, we get the ester ethyl ethanoate and hydrogen chloride gas produced. Now this equation is not reversible. Acid chlorides are very reactive chemicals and therefore the only conditions you need is to mix both chemicals at room temperature. You don't need a catalyst and you don't need to heat it up. Now because the reaction is not reversible you get a better yield of ester. However it's not cost effective because acid chlorides are a lot more expensive than carboxylic acids. Now if we look closely at this reaction we can see that a H from the alcohol 
has joined with the Cl from the acid chloride to form hydrogen chloride gas. And once again, the oxygen in the ester that's attached to the C double bond O has come from the alcohol. Now, both these reactions, the reaction of an alcohol with a carboxylic acid and the reaction of an alcohol with an acid chloride are examples of esterification reactions. So now let's test your understanding of esterification reactions with some practice questions. So here's the first practice question we'd like to have a go at. Read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. So question 1a is asking you to draw the structural formula of the ester formed when methanoic acid reacts with propantool. Now propantool is a secondary alcohol. It's got two methyl groups attached to the carbon next to the OH. And when propantool reacts with methanoic acid, the hydrogen on the alcohol's OH group joins with the OH of methanoic acid to form water. And the ester that's formed has an oxygen in it attached to a C double bond O that comes from the alcohol. So I've drawn the ester here. And if you drew the ester correctly, there's one mark. And because it said full structural formula, I drew out all the bonds. And for part B, it's asking to give the reagents and conditions needed to carry out this reaction. So I would need heat, one mark for that, and concentrated sulfuric acid, one mark for that. So now have a go at question two. So we'd like you to write word and chemical equations to describe the reactions listed below. Pause the video, have a go at them, and then we'll go for the answers. So question 2a is asking you to write a chemical equation and a word equation to show the reaction of ethanol chloride and propanol. Now you can either draw the structures completely in full, or you can do shortened structural formula, like I'm doing here. So ethanol chloride is CH3COCl. Propanol is CH3CH2CH2OH. And when they react together, the hydrogen from the alcohol joins with a Cl from the acid chloride to form HCl. And you're left with the following ester. So your ester will be CH3. CO, O, CH2, CH2, CH3. And your other product, remember, is HCl. Now, this is not reversible, this equation. And if I'm going to now complete the word equation, the ester is called propyl ethanoate and my other product is hydrogen chloride gas. Now it's called propyl ethanoate because I have a propyl group attached to the oxygen in the ester. So because I have a propyl group attached to the oxygen in the ester, the ester's name starts with propyl, and the rest of the ester resembles ethanoic acid, so the ester is called propyl ethanoate. So question 2b is the reaction of ethanol chloride and butanol, and you're asked to write a chemical equation and a word equation. So ethanol chloride is CH3COCl, and butanol is CH3CH2CH2CH2OH. Now, when they react together, you will have an ester that is CH3COO, CH2, 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 CH3. And the other product is hydrogen chloride gas. Now the word equation is ethanol chloride plus butanol makes the ester butyl ethanoate and hydrogen chloride gas. Now, if we look closely at this chemical equation, you can see 
that the hydrogen from the butan 1O has joined with the Cl in the acid chloride to make HCl and the ester that's formed has an oxygen from the alcohol in the ester and the ester is called butyl ethanoate because I've got a butyl group attached to the oxygen next to the C double bond O. C4H9 is a butyl group and the rest of the molecule and the ester resembles ethanoic acid. Now for question 2C I was asked to write a chemical equation, a word equation for propanol chloride reacting with ethanol. Now propanol chloride is CH3, CH2, COCl and when it reacts with ethanol, ethanol is CH3, CH2OH and when they react together the ester that's formed is CH3, CH2, COO, CH2, CH3 and my other product is HCl. Now once again a hydrogen from the alcohol has joined with the Cl from the acid chloride to form HCl and the ester that's formed contains an oxygen that has come from the alcohol. Now this ester is called ethyl propanoate and my other product is hydrogen chloride gas. So that concludes this video lesson. So after watching this video, you should now understand that esters are formed from alcohols in esterification reactions with carboxylic acids and acid chlorides. You should be able to name and draw the structural formula for simple esters and describe how they can be made from alcohols. And finally, you should be able to write word and chemical equations to illustrate esterification reactions. So that concludes our video. Please check out our YouTube channel, Dr. Rowe Chemistry, and our Twitter site, which contains lots of chemistry information and links, at Radar Chemistry.